Hello, we're back. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. It's Linda and Debbie from One <laughs> Disease. Our Hi, we're going to do switcherooski here at some point, but I'm starting out with mom. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about, I want to thank you again. We've had hundreds of masks come in. They're dropping them off at our store at 1216 East Central. There's a box out there. I want to tell you two things that people have asked me about it. The little pattern that I gave you, it's not even a pattern. You can do it by a uh, with a ruler. There's lots of patterns out there. This just seems to be the easiest and the quickest. You can do the seam allowance is a half inch. I guess I didn't make that real clear. And when you turn it inside out, the uh, top stitching is about a quarter inch away from the edge. So I hope that helps you. Um, we sent out 50 masks to the University of Chicago today. Oh. This doctor is just thrilled. Yes. I can't even tell you. And they, they're all over. We're, Plus we're some funny. people are actually um, keeping them for their neighborhood too, which is which very cool. Which we think is so great. It's awesome. Yeah. So let yep. us know how you're using them, what you're doing. They're not covid or what's the term, uh, not M95, they're not that, but they really, some of these doctors are so de desperate, they're putting them over their masks. Um, I I just feel that it's wonderful our sewing community is doing so much, and, and it's keeping you busy and giving you a lot of things to think about. So we've got some lovely, wonderful things, and I'm going to have this camera. No, you're going to show today. us. You, oh, no. I am? I yeah, you were you're going to show me. The, you're going to show us the first thing because I'm not. A, I'm not really sure of your camera skills just yet. So I want oh, no. you to show us <laughs> the first product. So what we wanted to do was show you how to put binding onto a placemat. So we have a sample placemat right here. This has not been uh, completed yet. Show, you want to show us the layers? So this is a sandwich that we're preparing. This is the top. The top. Now the top was done, uh, it's applique on, and you could cut these pieces out on, I believe it was done on our brother's scan and cut, or you could do it the good old fashioned way with a scissor and then stitch around it the way we've done here. Mm -hmm. And then there's the strips in the back. You can see they've been sewn together. Sure. So that's your placemat top. Then underneath, is your batting. Now, what is this batting? Isn't this the embroidery fusible by uh, Floriani? This, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> it's actually not, but you can use that if you want yeah, to, sure, okay. because we're actually going to show a product of how to fuse it is this product. So okay. this is not fusible, this one, okay. but um, we are going to uh, show you. Okay. So then the and next then is the, 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 ba the backing. I love the backing with all the little names on it and everything. So this is a kit too, right, Debbie? This is a kit that we have okay. at the store. <laughs> Sorry in advance if it's not on the website today, but it will be in one of so the now, next days. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this for you. Take your top off, poke your little holes in, do it about, you know, press it about half, not press it, fold it over about halfway, and then just sprinkle this on your batting. And I'm going to put this down, and then I'm going to do the other side. And just sprinkle a little bit on your batting. Oops. And, and then, then we press it down. Right. Right. So that's that's how we press both uh, that layer, and then we do it between the backing and the batting another time as well. So thank you. This is what it looks like when uh, it's already fused together. Um, these are the catitude placemats that uh, I'm, I'm going to be quilting. They haven't been quilted yet, if you can see, but the top, see, the batting, fused. and the backing have been fused together, and they're waiting to be done. So that's one step. And then over here is what I wanted to show you today. So we have a third one. Okay. A third one that we've sewn, that I actually sewed on the binding earlier today to show you. So we have about six inches of, uh, so uh, let, me, let me back up. We have two and a half inch strips over here. And the two and a half inch strips, two two and a half inch strips will go all the way around one of these uh, placemats. So here you have one that's finished already. So we oh, will be nice. showing you how we sew the strips together. Mm -hmm. And then how once the two strips are sewn together in a biased way, um, how we sew it on to the placemat. And then how we end up, so I'll go around the final corner here at the end because I've gone over three of the corners three of the corners and I'll go around the last corner and then we'll show you how the trick, what the trick is to attach the two ends together before you then flip the binding over Great. and hand so sew So you're going to actually sew this. I'm going to actually sew that for them to so see So wait it. a minute, does that mean 
I you get to camera. You get to be the camera man, now, person. Please woman. be kind to me, guys, <laughs> when I'm doing this. Okay. I, and you know that we're, I, should I tell them where we are? You know we don't have our video studio ready yet. And because well, we're sheltered this is in place. this your laundry room. Oh, no. Right? So, yes. Now. This is your laundry room. Yes. Sorry, right, guys. Anyway, that's so, yeah. where we are. We're that's where we are. <laughs> and, and we're doing the best we can. So yeah. please bear with us. Okay. This is the famous camera person. Um, Linda is the camera person and this is her daughter <laughs> Debbie. Um, all right, so I don't know if you can see me, but mom, are you are you showing what I have in my hand? I am. You are, great. Yes. I have two strips and I'm going to put them right sides together at an angle. I, I like to uh, to have a little bit, uh, so the salvage is still on uh, both sides here and I just keep it over the edge of both. And I call these the legs that are sticking out here. And you, the reason I call them the legs is because I'm about to stitch across the waist, the waistline of the two legs. So I'm, I'm stitching oh, across the waist, waistline at a diagonal. Does that reduce the waistline? Because I would like that. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Um, okay. I don't know if I can help with that, but uh, I am gonna sew this. So All right. we'll be so back I... in a minute. Okay, here we are. So here we are and we have then our diagonal here. We call the legs, out this way the legs, and we're gonna sew across the waist of uh, this, uh, um, these two strips two and a half and inch strips are what they are beautiful beautiful bernina oh sorry the bernina Tula. is on like as slow as it goes but i'm going to speed it up and so i'm just going from edge to edge Ooh, i'm done you sew off of there yes and you can sew the off there cut sitters thread nice. cuts okay so now i have this sewn together i can show you that this is now when i open it up is a perfect wow um strip it's extended my strip that much longer so what I do is now I trim this at about a quarter of an inch here, all the way along. Nice, easy. Easy to do. Nice uh, Bernina scissors, right there, nice. yeah. You gotta buy a machine to get those because it comes free with one of our really nice machines. Um, okay, so that's done. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to sew on the binding of my placemat. I am at a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and my binding, the raw edges, are towards the edge of the um, the placemat, as you can see underneath there. So hopefully you can see that, Mom. Are you yeah. filming this right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. good. I'm so proud of you, Mom. Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to go to about a quarter of an inch uh, before the end of the top. So I just want to be able to see it a little bit there. She's got a really nice quarter inch foot on there with Bernina's. 37. Like a, like a piece of jewelry. <laughs> it is like a piece of jewelry. Okay, so here we are going to a quarter of an inch just before the edge. And I just want to see where that quarter of an inch is. And once I'm there, I lift up my foot. I just see that pivot it a little is, bit. Needle is down in the fabric, which needle is great. Is down. And I pivot and I go then to, towards the point and I go off of the edge. Nice. That's me. That, not everybody does it this way, but I like to do it this way. So then I pull it out. So that's just scissor cut that away. I bring this back in under the needle again. I take the remainder of my binding here and I go up a 45 degree angle. I put that fold along the edge, the upper edge. Oh, sorry, you can't see me. Along no, the I upper edge it. there. Mm -hmm. And then this will continue to line up along this edge here. Nice. So I start at a quarter of an inch from the from just off the edge, if I can find the foot control, there we go. And then if we want to reverse off a little bit and then go back again, that's good. And then we want to just come at like a 10 inch gap before the, um, the rest. So we'll be back as soon as we have a 10 inch gap, we'll be back. Okay. So here I'm at the end and I'm going to press my reverse button. I don't know if you can see the reverse button where my thumb is on the right. I'm pushing this button reverse and it then go back to, oh, you can see that down there too. Mm -hmm. It goes back a couple stitches and then forward just to hold that in place while I'm manipulating it for the uh, final, um, uh, putting the binding together. And that nice little scissor cut. Nice little scissor cut. And there we go. Okay, so now we have two, um, you wanna, you wanna, back off just a little bit to show yeah that I have two pieces of leftover here that are overlapping and what I'm, what I'm going to try and do is bring them and overlap them by two and a little bit less than a quarter a little bit less than a half because my width is two and a half of the strip so I want them to overlap 
So this this piece, this space right here needs to be two and a little bit less than a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that. It's gonna be about two and yeah, just a little bit less. So I'll take my scissors, which are over here. And so I'm just gonna trim. So from here, one, two. I'm gonna trim this top one to right about there. There we go. Look, it didn't even hurt. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna come back to the machine and we're gonna do kind of like we did with the legs. We're okay. going to wrap them like this, but uh, we'll see you in a couple okay. seconds. So here we are over at the machine. We're doing the same procedure we did before when we were joining the two strips. We're going across the diagonal, across the waistline, from point to point, and scissor cut. And there you have it. And then let's see what that looks like. So now there you have your perfect. You wow. have your binding that is there, and all we have to do now is trim at that. Oh, sorry, I'm covering you guys. It's, okay. Is trim at that quarter of an inch here okay. with my black scissors. Not sure where they went. There they are. Actually, they're yours. They're not mine. Okay. You can use them. Oh, you guys would love the smell around here. Dad is making chicken right now. It smells so good <laughs> oh in this house. God. I know. I can't yeah, wait right. to go and eat that in a few minutes when we're done with this lovely daily video. So there you go. Um, and oh, and this is my little cup that I use for um, my uh, thread snips and my 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 waist oh, there. That's your coffee. Isn't that cute. I, yeah, she thought it was a coffee. Why are you putting your coffee cup there? Well, that's because I use my. It's my Chicago. My Chicago Starbucks coffee mug, you guys. Oh, I love it. Um, and so then all we do is now that we've done that, all we do is we go um, back to our quarter inch seam allowance along the binding here and we stitch it down. Can you see that? Yep, I can get it. Okay, good. She finger pressed her seam. Yeah, right. I didn't, I didn't press anything. I'm bad. Normally you would. I should be pressing, you guys. Okay. 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 So now we take uh, the placemat back to the cutting board and we trim along the edge, all four edges. Wow! Right? Look at that nice smooth seam. Look at nice. that nice smooth seam. That's correct. And all four sides. Rotary cutter mat. Rotary cutter mat is doing well. Rotary cutter and mat. Are and it's doing not well. sliding. Not That's so sure about cool. the camera person, but yeah. Yes. Well, I think I need to. I think we need to change sides here. <laughs> we will. We will. Okay. Whoops. Got that one. There we go. Whoops. One more. It's probably getting a little dull. We've been doing a lot. <laughs> yes, we have. And then our last one. Cool. I can figure one didn't get it there. There we go. Oops. That never happens to anybody, right? Doesn't happen to anybody, does it? <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we have our placemat ready to be turned and hand bound, just like you showed us before, Linda Z. Oh, I want to show that again. Okay. Okay, so here we are back with the uh, real professional, my mama, Linda Z. She's going to show us, because I'm still red uh, in the face from being so nervous, <laughs> she being a, is. on I'm camera amazed. for the it first time be, in quite a long time. It must be warm in here. <laughs> it must be warm in here. All right, now, um, I've taken this with my little clips and pushed this, um, you know, this binding to the back. I like to do the little miter like this. It's very, very easy to get it in there and clip it. Then I start here and I'm gonna hand bind this all the way around. If you don't wanna do hand binding because you are in a hurry, you can use one of those wonderful stitches on your machine. I like the little one that goes back and forth. Um, it really like makes a serpentine? it look professional. It's yeah, like serpentine. Kind of like a pretty. serpentine. But there's also a wonderful little um, hook one. It's, um, I don't know what number it is, but it, it it's almost like a blind hem, and you could do that too. There's various types of stitches that are really fun when you're doing this. But we're going to show you the hand because, again, a lot of your quilts are done that way. And I've had at least... 10 people ask me again, I must not have been very clear, about how to use this little needle threader. The needle is right down there in the hole. I have got this little um, flossing area of the needle, this little lever. I just click it and then you can see every single time this thread is gonna come through. 
every uh-huh. single time. It's just okay. a real easy way to do it. And then I go ahead. You can take the knot and go around. And I go in from the back. And I go up through the fold. I go out, up, out, up. And within, you know, maybe half hour, you'll have each place mapped. Or at least the Hawaii Five-O episode. Right, Mom? Yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> you show this one. So, I'm yeah, I just I just wanted to show a couple of other placemats that I worked on in the past. Well, um, I'm going to change. No, it's okay. I, 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 oh. <laughs> I want to go to the camera. Yeah, I want you to show. I want you to show it for okay, me. Okay, I'm the shower. This, thank you very much. This, uh, Debbie made these, though. Yeah, this, um, this one here was made using the uh, AccuCult uh, Go Cutter. And so it made it so easy to cut out the pieces on the other side. I, I actually quilted it on the Q24 using the um, the robotics. So oh, that was an automated beautiful. system. Uh, I put several of these on the, the frame at the same time. And uh, the backing was one big piece. And then I put multiple uh, placemats across the frame and got some got them done at the same time. So oh, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Those are fun. And then the one behind, uh, we actually have a pattern for this one. Uh, it's called the, it's right there next to you. Can oh, you hold yeah. that one up to you, okay. mind? It's called the um, Desert Stars. Wait, let me, I don't want to turn that. I want to just back up a little bit. Um, by Atkinson Designs. And what I did on this one was I used the um, the homemade tulip pink uh, fabrics that we were given early. And they're just beautiful. And uh, But we have them in stock now. We have them in stock now. That's, right. that's for sure. Um, but what I wanted to say was that I modified the pattern um, just by... Uh, making it a little bit larger than the original pattern is. So it's a really pretty table runner. And I quilted it um, with straight lines on the Q24, um, just using the channel locks that I had the straight lines perfect going that way. But every time I moved it down a little bit, it wasn't necessarily perfect. Every single channel was not perfectly even apart. But I think it's kind of a cute look, the straight line quilting now, on this. Back, I and I it. used um, this thread that's behind you, Mom. Can we set here? Let's set this down. Yeah, I used this uh, this Orafil pink uh, forty weight all cotton thread on the frame. While nice. It was, uh, nice. Can it. I show them the back? Of course. <laughs> oh, so the back. Oh, you want to see the whole back? Well, the thing is, I didn't have a big enough piece of well, one piece, so I pieced <laughs> my back. Oops. <laughs> so oh well, that's, and that's what happens yeah. to many. Of and them. that's all tulip pink fabric too, yeah. so a lot of fun. Great, right. anyways. Right. And um, you know, the other thing that people have asked because I, when we do these videos, I always wear something that I've made, and this is another one of the patterns that are in our on our website. It's called the Liberty Shirt, and if you look at the Liberty Shirt Very on cute. the actual pattern. It shows buttons down the front, but I instead of putting the placket in, I just put it on the fold. It's easy to do, a uh, couple hours on a serger, and you're ready to go. So now, I said serger. Do you think we should do something on the serger? I think we should, but <laughs> tomorrow, we're actually going to be going on this machine that I have Ooh. set up already. Okay. I think we're all out of time for today, and but we have the uh, FAF icon, the creative icon, ready for tomorrow. And we are able to ship this to you now, we just found Ooh, out. Ooh, <laughs> we are able to ship this to you. And Mary is going to this. do a quick right five-minute video on this very inexpensive serger that you could do all kinds of things on. So real quick, she's got a real inexpensive serger. Uh, she must have had 50 um, calls on uh, her last one. So uh, <laughs> thank you guys. You're, she, she was very nervous. I don't know if you know this, but you know Mary. Oh, Mary's Just awesome. Loves Mary, we love you. We love you so much. Expert. So you'll get a lot of tips on this tonight. So I hope yes. even if you can't go through the whole thing, um, you know, take a little tidbits of it throughout the day and maybe, you know, get your cup of coffee and sit down and... Can I add one more thing? Up. Sure. Okay. <laughs> really over here, I had another machine set up. No, no, yes, no, I did. No. I wanted to show this. This is my Juki from upstairs and I wanted to show you how tomorrow I will show you how you can uh, thread it and oil it and uh, take good care of it. Okay. I love my Juki. Right. Bye. So wait, I want to come back to you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.